name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about my July favorites. show you guys for this month so this is probably gonna be a very quick video but I did still have some stuff I wanted to talk about so let's jump right on into it I feel like my favorites this month are a little bit random but my first one is actually this Neutrogena sheer zinc dry touch sunscreen I hate sunscreen uh, when I was a kid I hated having it put on when they eventually developed the spray sunscreen I was super happy about that, but I still never quite liked the feeling of it on my skin. Um, so I decided to try this one here. I had been reading some stuff online that the zinc sunscreen is actually the best for you. Um, some of the other sunscreens have other chemicals that are actually killing off like coral and reefs, which means it's probably not good for us either. So I decided to try this one and Neutrogena had like the highest rating on Amazon and I had heard many, many good things about it. So I decided to buy these ones. This one is the 50 SPF for the body and then there's also one for the face. Um, so the face one I believe is supposed to be uh, oil free and hypoallergenic and it doesn't sting your eyes and let me tell you I put it all over my face. I didn't feel a thing which is great but this is actually really really good like I feel like it might be because it's the dry touch kind but I put it on and yes you could feel it as it was going on. But it wasn't like super sticky or oily or whatever the old sunscreen used to have that I hated. And we wore this, um, we put it on before we went in the pool. I think we were in the pool for about an hour and I am somebody who burns super easily and there was nothing. It was great. I think we're planning on taking both of these on our honeymoon with us. Definitely the face one for when we're out and about and I'm not wearing makeup because my makeup foundation does have SPF in it but this is gonna be great for when I don't wear that. The next item is also something that we're gonna be taking with us on our trip, and that is this right here. This is a passport wallet type of item. I'm actually not sure exactly what it's called, but I will link it down below along with everything else that I can. Um, but this is something that I purchased off of Amazon. They actually had lots of different colors of it. Um, it looks like maybe it's just called a travel wallet, but when you open it up, you have like a place for money, a little zipper pouch. This is for like plane tickets, train tickets, anything like that. They have a place for ID cards, credit cards, and also a pocket big enough for your passport. Um, this is also supposed to have that protection in it so that people that have those like ID scanners or like the card scanners can't get into it. It has the protection on there it built into the wallet. So you're good to go with that as well. And so this is something that I think is going to be really, really great because of the fact that I am going to want to make sure everything is together because we're going to many different capitals in the UK and Ireland. And so this is going to be amazing. My next favorite is actually a manga series and that is going to be the Kenka Bansho Otome Loves Battle Royale. This is by Chie Shimada. This is one that I picked up the first book uh, I want to say a couple months ago. The second book I think came out last month, I believe. And so I picked it up when we were having a Viz manga sale at Barnes & Noble. I think it was buy two, get one free. Uh, I think that sale is actually still going through the beginning of August. So if you guys like Viz manga, definitely go to Barnes & Noble, check that out. But I picked this up because it was giving me sort of Oron High School Host Club vibes. But this is also with, I guess, a school where the people fight. So this is a, not really gender swapping, but it's about a girl who dresses up as a guy and goes to the school and nobody knows that she's really a girl. Um, and that, I absolutely love that sort of trope in my manga as well as in some K-dramas that I've watched. I don't know what it is, but I really, really like it. And this portrayed it very, very well. I wasn't too sure about the fighting part of it. That was the reason I wasn't too sure about this manga at first. Um, I do believe there's also an anime based off of this, and I've heard it's actually based on an Otomi game, which is very interesting to me. I haven't watched the anime, I haven't played the game, but I actually really, really like the books. There is some fighting in here, but it's not what you would really expect. Like, it's not too action-packed. 
the main girl, she grew up sort of as an orphan, and so she had to learn how to protect herself, and she's just sort of abnormally strong as well. Like, she's not looking to pick fights. They just sort of happen, and she usually ends up winning. Um, I really like the guys that are in this. It reminds me of Reverse Harem in the anime world, where it's going to be one girl surrounded by a bunch of guys, sort of like Oran High School Host Club. I gave both of these books five stars. I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up as well, but I just really, really like these. The art style is really amazing as well. It's just something that is right up my alley, and so I'm very excited for hopefully more in this series. Speaking of Oran High School Host Club, my next favorite is actually going to be the pops of them. I am still waiting on my Haruhi pop to come in. They were really, really hard to get from Barnes & Noble for whatever reason, and so I did pick up Tamaki and Kyoya, but I'm still waiting for Haruhi's pop to come in. And I'm definitely going to need more pops in this series. You can't just have three hosts and not have the other four. I don't know what Funko was thinking with that, but I need more. Um, but Oran High School Host Club, like I've mentioned a couple times, I believe, on my channel, was one of my favorite animes and mangas. It was actually the first anime I watched and actually liked, which got me into the whole anime and manga stuff. And so I was very excited when they announced these pops, and I think they did an amazing job. The attention to detail on these is amazing. I love their little uniforms because it even has the crest and everything, and I really do wish that they are going to do more from these pops because they are just super cute. But again, you can't just have three people and not have the rest of the club. But again, like, it's just so well detailed. I love where Funko has been going with these pops lately because I remember when the first, like, pops started to come out and I even have some from previous series where they just, they, they're cute, but they're not as well done or as cute as these ones. And so I was super, super happy with these. I will probably show you guys the Haruhi one when she comes in, but again, I absolutely love these. The next item is actually a tumbler that I recently received in a Shelf Love Crate box. This is obviously one of probably the cheaper items that was in the box, but it has been my favorite thing so far. I really needed a good water cup for at home, and I absolutely love straws, and I love the fact that this is a plastic one that is reusable. Like, I have been literally using this every single day since I got that box. My husband even steals this from me sometimes, and I make him give it back. But I love this. I put water and ice in it, and it reminds me to drink water. Like, if I have it constantly on my table, of course I'm going to be drinking water. But also, I have five cats, and one of them specifically likes to try and drink my water or put his paw in my water, and the lid prevents that completely. Like, I don't have to worry about leaving my water out and about with my cats in the room anymore. And it's just a super cute water cup. It's a super cute quote. I know it's a little bit glary right here, but I love it so much. It says, I spent my life folded between the pages of books, and that is by Tahra Mafi. And then the very last thing I wanted to talk about is actually going to be the show Queer Eye on Netflix. My husband and I just finished season two, and I am absolutely in love. I love every single one of the Fab Five. Like, I, I just love this show so much. I never really watched the original Queer Eye because I was quite young when it was out, um, but this one popped up when season one came out. I binge watched like that complete series. This one we had been watching like one every night or so, just like with dinner, and the stories that are there, I mean I love the transformations and I love the interactions between everybody on the show, but the stories that these people have is amazing. I think every single episode I have ever watched has made me cry at one point or another. It's just a very emotional type of show and I love it. I am currently following everybody on Instagram now. I just can't get enough in my life and I can't wait for season three. I am just needing more of it and I just, I just love it. I don't know how else to really say it except for the fact that it is one of my new favorite shows. I love it so much, and I wish there were more episodes out so I could keep watching it. So those were all of my favorites for July. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know some of the things that you have been loving this month. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up every Monday and Thursday, so I will see you then. Bye!